Hello everyone. Today, in trigonometrical leveling, in base of the object inaccessible and in single plane method, we are going to see instrument access or at very different levels. Let us assume that this object is a tower. Let us keep the top of the tower as Q. In the ground, let us select the first point. Let us keep the point as P. In the point P, we have to install a theodolite. P dash is the vertical projection of P. In the horizontal axis of the telescope in the theodolite, we have to draw a horizontal projection like this. Along the point Q, we have to draw a vertical projection like this. Let us keep this point as Q dash. Let us keep the height of the instrument as H dash. Let us keep the horizontal distance between P and Q as D and let us keep the height of QQ dash as H1. From the theodolite in the station P, we have to focus the top of the tower and we need to take the reading of vertical angle. Let us keep the vertical angle as alpha 1. Now we need to select the second point. Let us keep the second point as R. In this point, we have to install a theodolite. R dash is the vertical projection of point R. Along the horizontal axis of the telescope in the theodolite, we have to draw a horizontal projection. Let us keep this point as Q double dash. Let us keep the height of Q Q double dash as H2. From the theodolite in the station R, we have to focus the top of the tower and we have to take the reading of the vertical angle. Let us keep the vertical angle as alpha 2. We have to measure the horizontal distance between the stations R and P. Let us keep the distance as D. In the benchmark, we have to keep a leveling staff. From the station R, we have to take the staff reading. Let us keep the staff reading as S2. From the point P, let us make a vertical projection like this. Let us keep this point as P double dash. We know that this vertical distance will be H2 minus H1. Let us keep that as S. We know that from the station R, we can take the staff reading. But from the station P, we cannot take the staff reading. We know the reason why we can't see the staff. This is the maximum height of the staff. Beyond this height, the staff cannot be expanded. That is why it is known as the instrument axis or at very different levels. Let us take this triangle. In this triangle, let us use the tan theta formula. We know that tan theta is equal to opposite side by adjacent side. Here the opposite side is H1 and the adjacent side is D. So tan alpha 1 will be equal to H1 upon D. In this way for H1 we will get a D tan alpha 1. Now let us take the big triangle. In this triangle again let us use the tan formula. Tan alpha 2 will be equal to H2 upon D plus D. So H2 will be d plus d into tan alpha 2. Let us subtract h1 by h2. So h2 minus h1 will be this minus this. h2 minus h1 is yes. So instead of this we can apply yes. We can take yes on the other side. It will come as negative. And we can take these two terms on the other side. They will come with the change of signs. From these two, we can take D outside. Let us take this term on the other side. It will come in the denominator. So for D, we will get this expression. Now from the station P, we have to remove the theodolite and we have to keep a staff or vein with a known height. Let us keep the height of the vein as V and let us keep the height from the top of the vein to this line as H. From the station R, we have to focus the top of the vein and we have to take the reading of the vertical angle. Let us keep the vertical angle as alpha. Let us take this triangle. 
in this uh, triangle tan alpha will be equal to the opposite side h upon the adjacent side d so it will be h upon d so h will be equal to d tan alpha the height pp dash will be equal to h minus v instead of h we can apply this now let us come to the previous uh, setup s will be equal to p double dash p plus p p dash instead of p p double dash we can apply this in this one instead of s we can apply this this is the formula to find the distance d let us see how to find the reduced level at the top of the tower that is at the point q with the reduced level of the benchmark we need to add s2 so that we will be in this line to get the top of the tower we need to add h2 so reduced level of the benchmark plus s2 plus h2 let us see the second method with the reduced level of the benchmark we need to add s2 so that we will be in this line then we need to add s so that we will be here to get the top of the tower then we need to add h1 so reduced level of the benchmark plus s2 plus s plus h1 now let us do a problem the top of a chimney was sighted from two stations p and r at very different levels the stations p and r being in line with the top of the chimney the angle of elevation from p to the top of the chimney was 38 degree 21 minutes alpha one is 38 degree 21 minutes and that from r to the top of the chimney was 21 degree 18 minutes alpha 2 is 21 degree 18 minutes the angle of the elevation from r to a vane 2 meter above the foot of the staff held at p was 15 degree 11 minutes v is given as 2 meter and alpha is given as 15 degree 11 minutes the heights of the instrument at p and r were 1.87 meter and 1.64 meter in the station p the height of the instrument is 1.87 and in the station r it is 1.63 the horizontal distance between p and r was 127 meter small d is 127 meter and the reduced level of r was 112.78 meter no benchmark is given only the reduced level in the point r is given as 112.78 meter find the reduced level of the top of the chimney and the horizontal distance from p to the chimney we need to find the reduced level of q and we need to find the horizontal distance d using this formula we can find the distance d alpha 2 is 21 degree 18 minutes alpha is given in the question as 15 degree 11 minutes the height of the vane is given as 2 meter H dash is the height of the instrument in the station P, which is 1.87 meter. Alpha one is given as 38 degree 21 minutes. For D, we will get 37.828 meter. Then we can take this triangle. In this triangle, tan 38 degree 21 minutes will be H1 upon 37.828. For H1, we will get 29.928 meter. Now let us take the big triangle. In this triangle, tan 21 degree 18 minutes will be equal to H2 upon 127 plus 37.828. For H2, we will get 64.264 meter. S will be equal to H2 minus H1. so that we will get this now we are going to find the reduced level of the top of the tower let us see the first method with the reduced level of the point r that is 112.78 we have to add the height of the instrument which is 1.63 so that we will be in this line to get the top of the tower we have to add this height 
so that we will get 178.674 meter let us see the second method with this we have to add this so we will be in this line then we need to add yes so we will be in this line then we have to add this one so that we will get the reduced level of the top of the tower in both of the ways we are getting the same answer now we are going to end this session thank you for watching this video